Okay, so I'm gonna explain this patch a little bit. Um, what you hear going on is basically a sequence coming from my sequencers up here. And these different sequencers are basically modulating the filter. And they're also modulating the sequencer, which has four different inputs. Some of them are bare waves, and some of them are from this delay panel. Now part of what you're hearing is due to this. Um, it's Triman Brigadier. And you can kind of hear that right there. Like it's it's resetting from the sequencers. Now the clock isn't just a set city clock. What makes it interesting is basically I'm using a couple of LFOs to modulate an oscillator. And that's creating some interesting clock things here. And you can kind of hear that going. It's pretty cool. Now, I have all of what's happening where it's basically like the modular is going to a pitch transposer that has like a flanger delay setting and then another delay. And then it's finally being fed back through the state variable filter, which is then being modulated by all of the different sequencers. Um, the cool thing is there's two outputs on, the, on this delay pedal, the Strymon Brigadier. And one of those outputs is going back into this first input of the sequencer. So um, when this first input is active, it's feeding back into the mixer right here. So if I turn that up, I get much more feedback. And the, the reset on this Brigadier that's being sequenced is what's keeping it from going completely wild in the self-oscillation and just like being a constant sound. So, I turn that up and the sequencer, these are the raw waves that are then going back through this state verb filter. But if I turn that down, you just basically hear what's coming from the delay pedal. Now, this envelope in VCA set is really short, so it's mostly clicks. If I lengthen it, this is the actual sequence. You can hear the notes. Faster. I'll do this. No, this isn't super technical, but it's basically most of the sound sources here are delays and filters being pinged. So some of the dev stuff that I put up on Wuffugler that you guys heard, that's that's what this was. But I was using one of the clocks from my DAW so I could time with the drum machine too. It was cool. What's cool about this is like, you know, people talk about how, you know, your rack is weird and 5U is West Coast and you play Klaus Schultz with this stuff. <laughs> and it's cool. You can. It sounds really good for that, but what it's also really good at is this sort of thing. You just have to. Like, with all things modular, know what you're doing. So, In fact, I was just at a synth meet yesterday, and someone said that they thought it was too bad I had a, a 5U system, and I just kind of looked at them like, okay, <laughs> you just enjoy your delusion. Mm -hmm. 
adding like the when you hear it like kind of twinkle off in a, in a sort of like decaying sort of the rhythmic pattern that's where that's also coming from so I really like having both the DAW and the modular doing things because I get to places I would never get if I just use just Ableton or I've used just the modular 